Uh, I'm Finbar. Blue. I'm Eva. Paul. How's first year been for you then? It's been a bit of an eye opener, I think. I think lots of people had uh, uh, quite different uh, preconceptions about it. It's... But I've been doing certainly lots of things I didn't expect to be doing. I think it's really interesting how they want us to um, have an I or have an um, interest for fashion, arts, film. How they just don't they don't want us to design buildings. That's it. They want us to sort of be aware of everything that's going on, and I find that really interesting. Mm, definitely, it seems like quite a cross disciplinary school rather than just architecture. It doesn't seem as high pressure as some of the other places that are looked at. Definitely, first year in Manchester has been quite fun. <laughs> I do wonder. Sometimes how if making a jacket out of plastic bags <laughs> is actually going to prepare me for yeah, you know, real uh, life designing in structures. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, But I think a lot of people coming to architect architecture school are um, in a way obsessed with buildings and how it might be an eye-opener to work with other um, media than just that and maybe be creative in different ways. And I think that this, the first part of it, which was about designing kind of clothes, was all about us trying to make us understand the space around us and kind of each of the next project kind of I was about bigger and bigger space, which was quite helpful. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could see how like each project related to like skill specific skill sets that you needed or like concepts that you had to get your head around. What did you think architecture school was going to be like before you arrived? I was a bit scared, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I thought like maybe my skill set wasn't really applicable for university life, but um, I found that you can, like a lot of people have a real wide range of skills, so yeah, I think. Yeah, I thought we'd be drawing, and I thought we'd be making models, and I thought, yeah, yeah. that's great, I can do that. I'm looking yeah. forward to that. But uh, like the number of different skills that we've had to uh, start to develop on our own as well, <laughs> so using all these uh, crazy programs and uh, yeah. uh, different kind of research skills, I'd, I'd never thought of. that's that's been quite tough. But I think once once you've done something that you you know you didn't think for a second that you could do, then yeah. Mm. I think it's far more wide ranging, really broad topic. I didn't. I thought I knew it was wide ranging, but I didn't know it was quite so broad. No. It's definitely not the grand designs like <laughs> <laughs> grand designs kind of idea of architecture where you see a lovely set of plans and then somebody just miraculously builds a house. Uh, what, yeah. what, before I came here, one of my friends uh, back home who's an architect student, she told me that uh, first I wanted to become a designer. And I would just want my life back. And <laughs> um, basically, like, if you if you're really into into your course, then obviously you would spend a lot of time in the studio. And at least for me, what I find is that I learn so much about it from from what I fail at. Like, if I if I try if I try out a, an idea, make a model, and it fails, then I've learned so much from it. And I think that's that's what we're here to learn: to fail and to sort of get better. I think it's quite Not rewarding to realize now how much. How many skills we have learned, and for example, we didn't know how to make a model or how to use drafting equipment half a year ago, and now we need to know everything, and it's, it's quite nice. What about any things outside of the sort of curriculum of the school? What are things you've been getting involved with? I, what is that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I what, there's an outside? <laughs> there is outside well, it's like I, w I think I would find it hard to do, uh, to sit, you know, for hours and hours doing the work if I didn't know that I was um, in, like, such an exciting city. I think it makes a big difference being in a city where you, you walk into the studio and you will see something interesting or you go out for lunch and, you know, you might see some uh, great busker that you know, wasn't there yesterday, and that's why why people like being in cities is because, uh, you, know, you, don't you, yeah, mm, you don't know what's going to, yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. And I think it's important also to keep your own interests alive because we're here in architecture school, but you, you don't want to drown in it. You wanna you wanna keep your own 
um, projects ongoing and you want to um, get something out of your life in addition to architecture school. So I find it really, really important actually to prioritise that. What were the stereotypes you thought uh, an architect shoot would be before you arrived? I. Hello, oh. next. <laughs> Turtle next. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, like, I remember one time when I got a text early, early in the morning saying, meet up 10 o'clock, bring a scalpel. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, <laughs> that sounds yeah. quite violent. Um, and I find myself, like, uh, when I'm on my bike with all my bags in the wind, like, this huge card mount, like mount board Not feeling um, like a donkey just and I, and I, like you know I, I, really, I feel that I really look like an architect student like a stereotypical architect student with uh, bags just mm. you know materials all over scruffed up chino has a bit of a tucked in shirt buttons all the way down up to the top there's so many <laughs> different uh, people from you know all, all different countries and all, all different, different backgrounds of life, yeah. like mm. I don't, I don't know anybody else in uh, courses, you know, at the university or any other university that I've had. How important do you think that is? I th yeah, I think it's really important because, I mean, we'd, you don't, you're not designing things for yourselves or yeah. people like yourselves. You're, yeah. You want to be able to get different viewpoints and, yeah. and look at things from different angles, and that really does help. So, if we go one by one, maybe, and say... If if uh, you had one piece of advice to give to a student coming to MSA next year, what would that be? Who wants to start? <coughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Well, <laughs> Don't you must have something more. Would you like to elaborate on that? <laughs> um, be ready to work hard. And, yeah. Don't get discouraged. Um, make sure that you're doing it for yourself, I think. Mm. Don't try and please tutors and uh, tick boxes, because yeah. otherwise you're not going to yeah. produce anything that you're proud of, I think. Yeah. Don't be afraid of failing, just as I said previously. Just design process is about trying and failing and somehow getting somewhere, so that would be it. Try and try and use your your existing skills. Try and try and use your use them as a, an advantage. Yeah, and I'd say ignore the scare tactics from your very first induction. They say don't join anything else because architecture will be your life. And I think you should go out and immerse yourself in the university societies because it will make your education a lot more connected with a lot more people. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs>